I'm Paul Perkins with a check of your ag weather. Approaching low pressure continues to slightly lower our temperatures. After highs around 90 today, highs drop into the mid-80s and most of Nebraska tomorrow, while highs in southwest Nebraska and northern Kansas are once again around 90. Through this evening, a weak disturbance may trigger a few thunderstorms over the panhandle and as far east as Ogallala. Warmer than usual temperatures, low humidity and gusty winds tomorrow once again result in increased fire weather concerns. After south winds off low pressure over the Rockies, gust into the 20s today. Winds gust from 35 to 45 tomorrow. Fire weather concerns are lower on Friday with wind gusts to 30 and slightly higher humidity. As the cold front tracks to the east, there is a slight chance of thunderstorms by Friday night. Rain amounts, if any, are likely to be light. With that cold front's passage, most of our highs for Friday through Tuesday cool to more seasonal levels in the low to mid-80s. The exception is southwest Nebraska and northwest Kansas on Friday, where highs still top out in the upper 80s. A few thunderstorms are also possible in the west and central by Sunday night with a weak disturbance. While temperatures are slightly cooler, temperatures are likely to remain warmer than normal for Nebraska, Kansas, and the eastern two-thirds of the U.S. Monday through September 24th. Rain chances improve with above normal rainfall indicated Monday through September 24th for Nebraska and Kansas, those higher chances in Nebraska. Key weather factors driving the markets include heavy rain in the southern delta from Hurricane Francine, warm and mostly dry weather across the Corn Belt, and conditions staying dry in Argentina and central Brazil. Francine makes landfall this late day in southern Louisiana as a Category 1 or 2 hurricane. A storm surge of 4 to 10 feet can be expected along and to the east of where Francine moves ashore. In the central Gulf Coast, Francine should result in 4 to 8 inch rain totals with locally higher amounts leading to flash flooding and urban flooding. Significant damage from hurricane force winds of 74 miles per hour or greater may occur in Francine's eyewall during and immediately after landfall, with tropical storm force winds spreading well inland. Crops in the path of Francine include southern Louisiana's sugar cane, for which harvest has not begun, cotton, the majority of which has open bowls, and row crops such as rice and soybeans. Much of the rest of the U.S., including large sections of the plains and Midwest, experience dry weather in the next five days, favoring field work and summer crop maturing. In the northwest U.S., a cold front generates some rain and high elevation snow, with rain spreading as far east as the northern plains. Temperatures climb to warmer than normal levels across much of the central U.S. next week, and another storm could lead to spotty rain and storms for portions of the Corn Belt later next week. Across southern Brazil, in Piranha and Rio Grande do Sul, scattered rain tomorrow through the weekend, improving the soil moisture for any immature wheat or corn and soybean planting. Soil moisture in most of central Brazil, way too low to begin planting, and one season rains might be delayed, slowing the soybean planting by a couple of weeks and jeopardizing the second crop corn. Argentina rainfall today is likely to be spotty as most of the country continues to be dry, negatively impacting winter wheat in development and delaying the corn planting. After a break in above normal temperatures, the middle to end of this week in Argentina, above normal temperatures return this weekend into next week, which dries out the soils even more. Widespread rain may not arrive in Argentina until the middle to end of next week, and coverage right now is uncertain. Overseas in Europe, scattered rain favors immature corn, but not the beginning of wheat planting. Scattered rain may linger across eastern Europe this weekend into early next week. Temperatures drop significantly in eastern Europe, and higher elevation frost and snow are a possibility, a sign of the changing and more variable conditions. With a check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins.